Hello everyone, Razor012YT here, and today I am going to make a uh, new guide on how to get both the witch and the sorcerer at the same time. Well, yeah, I'm going to explain the reason why right now. This is because uh, sorcerer and witch have been merged into a class pack. I'm going to show you like right now this class pack. Yeah. Okay, we are at the Game Pass page. So, aside all these other Game Passes, this is the one you want to get. The Magic Team Pack. Now, this pack basically uh, lets you become a witch or sorcerer with the Game Pass. So, you spawn with two potions, you spawn with a wand, a special room with all the ingredients to make every potion, and teleport... Yeah, teleports. Your own bread and cake making station. Yeah, that's basically the pack in a nutshell. So yeah, uh, to unlock the witch and the sorcerer, just purchase the game pass, which I just showed you. It's only 150 Robux. Like, you get two classes for free. One good and one bad. Yes. Now, uh, these two teams have a stark difference. Well, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be sorcerer just to demonstrate what the heck's going on. So, yeah, you get to get a cool name. Yeah, I just did the cool name, and now let's teach you how to be a wizard! So, uh, as a sorcerer, you can drink... Wait, give, give me that, Mr. Cheez-It. Thank you. <coughs> as a sorcerer, you could drink potions. Oh my lord, Brick God got pleased, bro. Come on. Okay, uh, let me get my disguise potion. Give... No, I don't want your rainbow bread, Mr. Cheez-It. I'm making a video! So as sorcerer, you could drink potions. Potions like these. This potion I'm drinking is a disguise potion. It will disguise you as a Viking. And with this potion, it allows you to sneak in behind enemy lines and just whack the Vikings with the sword. Yeah, that's basically what you do as sorcerer if you if you want to like get slap Vikings on, I don't know what. So, what are your best practices? What's the best practice to be a sorcerer? So, what you what I just did was come out of the tower. So I just came out of this tower, and what I have in my wait, where's my wand at? Uh oh, there's no wand. That's cause I'm not a witch. Now, one of the main differences for being a sorcerer and a witch is that you get two books. One that fires a cold spell and one that f and then one that uses a fire spell. Now, these weapons... Now, now, the freeze one, I'm not sure if it does anything, but we are about to test it out on this viking. Get over here. Abracadabra! Come on! Uh-oh. Don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Please, don't kill him! I need, I need, I need, I need guinea, I need guinea pigs, and you just killed mine! Whee! Okay, besides this, I just demonstrated that this weapon is not good if people are moving around. Period. So, everyone, uh, as sorcerer, you just basically can make potions legally, help knights defeat vikings, and that's just the benefits of being a sorcerer. Now, yeah, I think I just taught you how to be sorcerer in one go. Like, you basically act as a knight with books in hand and a sword. That's it. And you can drink potions too, yeah. Now I'm gonna teach you the good part. The witch. <laughs> it is I, Razor's Witch Voice, and I'm and I am going to teach you how to use the witch class uh, things. Yes. Now, what you have here is a witch hut. This. Uh, wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, you go in there. Oh, it's a witch dungeon. Now, as a witch, you can make as many potions as you want, just like the sorcerer. And you also have a cool and funny one. However, this one has a thing called MAMA down here. And what you could do is cast a number of spells on your enemies. Yeah. First off, the fire spell. 
to use a fire spell? Just click anywhere near an enemy, but you will stand still for two seconds. Alright, next spell is ice. Ice will put the players in a place. Just fire it at some random uh, player to freeze them. Yes, just do it. Yeah, but by far the most expensive one is lightning. I bet this thing does a lot of damage. So to use it, just aim it anywhere. This thing is long range, so it could kill anyone. <laughs> Actually, one more thing. Uh, I have to switch back to sorcerer because I do not want to be seen as a traitor. So anyways, here is uh, one more thing I forgot to ta teach you. Ingredients. There's a multitude of ing ingredients here on this very table. This green thing is a caterpillar. This thing is a bone. Let me pick it up. I can't pick up the bone. This is an apple. Now I can pick up the bone. This is a ghost brick. This is a pink flower. This is a shiny bar. This is a moony rock. This is a berry. Now, this is the easy way to make potions. Any potion uh, in the world. All you gotta do is approach this stand and make any potion. You could have a jump power potion, which lets you jump. You can make a heal potion, which heals you. A full belly, which has gives you infinite hunger. The invisible potion, which makes you invisible. And you could turn into the spy from TF2. The speed potion, which makes you turn into Sonic the Hedgehog. Buffy potion, you have some more health. Disguise potion, you are the spy from TF2 again, only you're the Viking. Or admission, depending on which side you're on. Stamina potion. You could run for infinite amounts. Spoopy potion. You turn into a, a spooky skeleton, which is a cosmetic potion. Yeah, uh, this potion is still in the game to this day for some reason, but it's sort of funny seeing the spooky or the spoopy potion being used in almost every case. Yeah. So anyways, folks, uh, I'm going to go now. So good day, good night, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.